Whew. Hey, what's good to everybody? Your boy Sneak. Back with another one, man. You know what I'm saying? And um, today, I'm about to go get new tires put on the Camaro. As well as, you know, get my wheels balanced and get an alignment. I'm also going to get a, a um, yearly inspection done. You know what I mean? Right after they put the tires on. And so, pretty much, in order for me to pass my uh, inspection, the tires are one thing. I know I need two new front tires. My backs are good. Um, I kind of got it so that, you know what I'm saying, when tires need replacing, I replace the back two. And then, you know what I mean, the front two were like, I replaced the back two like last year. My front two need replacing this year. They're they pretty, you know what I mean? They they missing some missing some and they not bald, but they getting it. I'll show y'all in a little bit. Um I also need new windshield wipers. I already picked those up from Walmart. Um so I'm put those on and I'm put those on before I before I go drop my car off. Um and the last thing is I, I need to change those bulbs. Um, if you know my trunk light and my dome light in my car, I got them, um, you know, they green LEDs. Well, I need to go ahead and switch those back to the original bulbs, you know what I mean? So that everything is smooth and kosher, you know what I mean? I ain't trying to run into no problems. So, oh yeah, and um, my rims are Plasti dipped. You know what I'm saying? So, in order for there to be no problems, no hiccups, I'm gonna have to go ahead and peel off the plastic dip on my rims, y'all, on all four. You know what I mean? They're gonna be back to the the smooth um, aluminum chrome look. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I'm pretty much only doing it because I gotta get new tires. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna because they're gonna have to take the tires off the rim and then put the new ones on, and so. You know what I mean? I just I don't I don't want plastic did to be peeling up off the edge as they're as they're working. You know what I mean? Because I'm gonna end up having to do it anyway, probably. So I'm gonna just go ahead and take them off right now. And I'm probably not gonna plastic dip them again right now. I uh, probably will later on, but you know, right now it's getting colder. It's winter, and um, I usually take them off around winter time. So. Um, so yeah, man, let's go uh, swap them lights out, uh, swap the windshield wipers out, and um, I'll show y'all these tires, man. Sheesh. Alright, so here go with the uh, bulbs and switch them out with. I just keep these in the, I got a little box I keep, I keep these in the bag that the LEDs came in. Um, but the windshield wiper to pick up, got the right blade and everything like that. Um, the these were are the I guess the better ones, but they were the same price as the the um you know the lower level ones. So I just went ahead and got you know if they the same price. I'm gonna get the better ones. So go ahead and swap those out. All right, y'all. So like I said, I'm gonna replace the windshield wipers. Um, take the plastic dip off and take it to the shop, and they gonna do the tires for me. Um and change the bulb lights. So, I'm gonna show y'all the tire, the front tires right quick. And look at that, man. That's all I got, you know what I'm saying? And pretty much I do the, and you got some, a little bit of cracking, so yeah, these need to be replaced. Like I said, my backs are good, but I pretty much use the, uh, the penny trick, you know what I mean, to, that's a good way to know that your tires are good or not. And yeah, see those, those good. But uh, pretty much, you take a penny and you put it in there, heads down. And if your tire is, and you know, look up the image on a Google. But yeah, look at these windshield wipers, man. I don't know if y'all can see that. Some space separating. But yeah, if the head of the penny, if the tire tread is below the head of the penny. If it's only a little bit showing, then um, you need your tire your tire to place. I can't really tell you know what I mean. Go go look at the image and y'all see what I'm talking about. Just just Google it. Um, and go to images 
and you'll see what I'm talking about. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and replace those. Um, I guess I'll take some video of me, you know, how to replace them. I don't know if I'm gonna put that in this video or just make another little separate video on how to change windshield wipers and how to change dome and trunk light. I don't know yet. Um, then after that, definitely peeling this uh, plastic dip off all my rims. So, see y'all in a second. So, to get these ones that were wrong off, and some windshield wipers are, you know, built a little different, but it's the same, you know, pretty much the same principle. To get it off, let's see if I can get this right here right quick. To get it off, all I did was take this little tab that you see right here, lift it, lift it and pull down and this hook takes it out of that hole there's a part behind here that the uh the little hole in the hook hooks into that pushes it out you push it down outside of the loop and that's all you got to do to get them off so see this one not too bad actually but um you know if one needs replacing i'm gonna just go ahead and replace both you know what i'm saying i don't want two wipers that aren't necessarily gonna match so like I said the other one some separation and so yeah right there some separation so you know I'll just go ahead and replace both and so for the new ones a little bit different so for these ones the instructions tell me to lift what part am I lifting up hold on let me get right back to y'all okay so for these new ones just lift this part right here lift that up out the way and this is the part that the J is going to hook around so you put it in come back and loop it and it's gonna catch uh, this back end on the hole so go ahead and put those on all right so got the windshield wipers on and uh, next up I'm gonna swap the lights out and like I said for these windshield wipers man pretty much all you got to do is take this hook come back and you know pull this to hook it in place till it clicks and you know it's, that's pretty much it and then this last little part that's built in just close that back down but you know windshield wipers are a pretty easy thing to change out on your own you know what i mean it's not really necessary for you to go to whatever shop or dealership and buy their wipers and have them do it for you you know what i'm saying because and get that little extra whatever labor charge that they're doing because it's just an easy swap out you know what i'm saying a lot of these things are you know what I mean? windshield wipers and a lot of the lights and stuff like that too so you know what i mean it's not a big deal if you don't want to do it and don't do it but it is a quick way to save save some money you know what i mean when these things need to be replaced doing it by yourself and only buying a part as opposed to just taking it somewhere and have them buy the part and charge you for labor to do something that's really easy and only takes you a couple minutes to do you know what i'm saying but next thing up is these lights all right for the next thing is uh swapping out the light in this dome light i'm gonna try to use this uh plastic end of this plastic scraper to get it done if i can't then find something else so first you know what i mean just want to turn the light off make sure it's off 
Um, and you just want to get underneath, you know, it's something that you can use to get, you can use to pry between, get this out, which this doesn't seem to be working for me very well. Um, there we go. There we go. Once you get one of those points out, you know, you can just hold it, go around, boom. Pull that right off. Um, you got your light, let's pull that out. And my original light coming right up. And just make sure it works. Yep. So that works. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the cover back on. Put the cover back on the same way, you know, you just place it and press it in. So it clicks all around. And you're good. So let's go to the trunk, do the same thing. All right, so put the trunk, there go my light right there. And you know, it's pretty much the same thing, except the cover is a little bit different. There's a, a a pretty nicely side indentation on this end, so I don't even think I'm gonna need the scraper. There we go. You can get your fingernail in it, and you can pretty much pull it down, and boom. So you pull that one out this way, and go. take that out. You got fat fingers, this one's gonna be hard for you to get your bulb into. Boom, there we go. All right, so we got them both replaced. Um, and we Gucci. Next up is this Plassey dip on my rims. And after I get my inspection, these will be going back to the green lights. You know what I'm saying? But it's just the boys and you know any bumps in the road all right y'all so the last part is uh taking this plastic dip off the rims and if everything goes according to plan it should be fairly easy so uh, set the camera right here and like i said hopefully this will go easy one swoop There you go. There you go. That's one rim. Um, I'm not going to bore y'all with showing y'all every single rim, but what I found the most useful was to uh, start around the outside of the rim and then, you know, go all the way outside and then just work your way to the center. Um, so, yeah, actually, right now I'm contemplating whether I want to actually take them off every rim or just take them off the front too and drop it off that way i think i am and then after decide if i want to
take this off the back too or just go ahead and plastic dip over the front again um, I don't know yet so we'll see but um that's pretty much gonna be uh, oh yeah and I'm going um, I'm gonna clean it right quick I'm gonna spray some stuff on there and scrub it down uh, just to get all the extra stuff off there but that's pretty much a wrap for this video y'all um go ahead leave a like down below if you got any questions hit the comment box um if you haven't already go ahead subscribe to the channel man i greatly appreciate it and i'll catch y'all all right y'all so I, uh, got everything handled um got the new tires on there See, I'm running BF Goodrich G-Force Sport Comp 2s on the front and the same thing on the back except the back are um, all season tires on the back um, but just the uh, regular ones on the front but so yeah got that taken care of pass my inspection everything good yeah man so make sure y'all stay on top of that you know what I'm saying stay up to date with your your current inspection you know what i'm saying your car registration all of that man you know what i'm saying you don't want to be out here riding dirty um you don't want that extra ticket and you don't want you know what i'm saying one more well you don't want to give the cops a reason to pull you over you know what i'm saying they see that inspired inspection sticker they see that inspired uh registration sticker that gives them a reason to pull you over so make sure you got all that handled you know what i'm saying make sure you're out here riding clean so that way ain't nobody got nothing to say to you man um but yeah you know and man if if you got a car with rotational tires man whew, i feel for you because i'm feeling the price of them you know what i'm saying granted i know some tires are a lot more expensive than mine but man you know what i'm saying the, the rotational tires can can be uh can, you know you'll have to replace them more often i feel like and they cost more than non-rotational tires but like i said man stay on top of all that stuff pass my inspection everything good you have a tire to replace um yeah man everything is all good so next thing i'm gonna do is go back up in that zone and i'm gonna replace them lights make them shit green again you feel me but but anyway, man, um, yeah, that's it, man. Make sure you like the video. Get out the comment box. Make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And uh, I'll catch y'all in the next one, man. Squat.